Okay, guys. So, good morning. So, again, so I'm Aaron Vergara. So, I'm going to discuss no, or, uh, about the major offenses and minor offenses. No? So, ito yung mga major offenses natin. Continue lang natin yung uh, na-discuss ni Ma'am. So, major offenses, guys. So, it is uh, abuse, no? behavior, and discourtesy towards CI, hospital personnel, patients, or visitors. So, always respect talaga tayo sa mga CIs natin. And if uh, duty tayo no, sa hospital, no, uh, uh, respeto na to ato ang mga CI, ang mga <coughs> healthcare providers din, at saka yung patients natin. No? So, number two is gross dishonesty. No? Sample dyan is a deliberate failure to report an error in medication no so once sa commit kayo ng medication error dapat uh, as a student no report natin agad sa CI natin para magawa magawa natin ng uh, solusyon no Remember, kasi mahirap na maka magkamali tayo sa medication sa patient no kahit na na aware niyo yung CI meron pa rin kayo ano uh, major offense no as maayo i-report nato directly sa to ang CI. So, if in doubt kayo sa mga medication na binigay ninyo, no, diretso agad tayo sa CI. Maka-clarify na to. Matabangan ta sa mong CI or head nurse no, on duty. And then, uh, any form of cheating, BS, INO, and the likes. No? So, bawal yan. So, major offense yan. No? Mag-cheat tayo sa mga uh, vital signs na kinukuha natin. Kahit hindi tayo nagkuha ng vital signs, tapos nilagay natin, so major offense yan siya. No? Kung na magpa, mag, uh, uh, magpataka, no? imbento o mga vital signs sa tuwang patient, kahit hindi siya nag-vital signs. No? So dapat mag-vital signs tayo. Alright? And then, forgery and tampering of official records. So ayan, no? major offense din yan siya. No? Pinatamper na ito ang mga uh, record sa ito ang patient or mga uh, record sa hospital, even sa school, no? na ito sa school, na hospital, tampering. No? Change ang data, ka na mag-erasure, no? so nagantag mga uh, problems sana, encounter. So medyo offense na siya guys. No? So, next is stealing. No, another major offense is stealing. No, kanang magkuha uh, sa mga supplies sa tong hospital and sa school. So, major offense na siya. Nalabin na ka ng mga alcohol na to sa hospital. So, one gap na siya. Stealing gap na siya. Kanang dala ka ni Ubaon. No, kanang mga sanitizer. No, so, gabutan na to sa to ang mga baon ng mga anang, uh, sublanan container sa alcohol. So, stealing gap na siya. Ha? So, dapat kung magamit mo, Uh, gamito ninyo tayo yung dili dahil niya talo ninyo na may consumo sa inyong malay no? and then yung uh, mga mga bandages no? so stealing na siya sa property sa tuwang hospital and fabrication of information no? fabrication or inventing of information about the patient kasi wala niyo na access na na kuhan siya mga data sa mga patient tapos gilutang ninyo sa inyong record So, major offense kaya po na siya. No? So, take note sa ito mga major offenses. No? Publication of information. Diyan tayo nakakaproblema minsan. No? Mag, uh, maratul ta ba? O na-assess mo na ito yung patient na to. Yes sir, pero wala pa. Ito nagbuat-buat na lang mo uh, information ano? sa ito ang patient. So, delikado na siya. So, major offense na siya. Then, medication error and documentation. No? Major offense. So, once na makakumit kayo ng medication er error, no? inform agad yung uh, CI natin and head nurses. Alright? So, yan yung uh, mga major offenses natin. Ano ba question dito? So, wala. Next is drunkenness and carrying intoxicating liquor or being under the influence of liquor. So, ayan, major offense guys. Klarong-klaro, guys, ha? <coughs> Excuse me. Ang drunkenness. So, bawal ay mag, uh, 
kung galing kay sa party, no, mas maayong mag-upset na lang mo no, kaysa mag-duty mo. Tapos kami sa inyong siya yung mga pakukay mo, mga ano, uh, ilim nun, mga makahubog. No? So, bawal yan siya, guys. So, if ever, mas advice ko sa inyo, mag-upset na lang. Kasi marami din tayong problema pag nakainom tayo, no? tapos mag-duty tayo, pwede tayo mamali sa mga procedures na ginagawa natin sa patient natin. No? So, pinaka-the best, mag-accept na lang yun. So, para hindi kayo mag-commit ng major offense. No? Bahalag, bahalag mag-extension na lang mo no? kung mag-absent. No? Then another is smoking in the hospital premises or within the vicinity of clinical area. So, sa mga smokers, so bawal lang siya sa duty. Sa duty. Okay, at sa school, bawal yan siya. Sa labas, bawal. So, major offense. Then, illegal use of possession of distribution of narcotics and the prohibited drugs. So, klarong-klaro, major offense yan. Narcotics and mga drugs pinadala sa, sa school. Pwede pa mo mapreso. Ano? So, magdala mo ang mga illegal drugs. The next is the engaging in any form of gambling, pagsugal, no? any form of gambling, karong klaro, klarong klaro guys, atong it sa di ah, so bawal yan siya to magjutita, alright, sa so, school, assaulting co students, CI, hospital staff and patient and visitor, so ayan, so malakit ato ang mga hospital staff and patient. So, verbal or physical. So, so bawal na siya. Major offense na siya. Right. Carrying of deadly weapons. So, no, wala may siguro ang student magdaladala po ng mga deadly weapon. No? Like knife. Siguro yung ano. Taril. Wala may siguro yung student magdaladala dyan na ano. Naman, bawal na siya. Major offense din na siya. And gross misconduct as age. So, klaro ang ating mga major offenses. So, bawal yan. Then another major offenses, guys. Ang seduction of patient, watcher, hospital, or school personnel. No, staying in the dark places with same or opposite sex. No, embracing, holding hands, and kissing. So reminders, guys, sa mga maguyab. No, so bawal na siya. Major offense kaya po na siya. No, major offense kaya po na siya. So we avoid na to mga dark places. Alam niyo na opposite sex sa. So hindi tama ng holding hands, sabi niya close, no close na, close na kaayo binag-kissing na sa opposite so pinabawalan na ito na siya. Alright. Then, immorality. Sleeping with male, female patients, watcher, or co-student, lacking inside the room, in the company of opposite same sex, use of obscene language, distribution of immoral literature. So, yan, yeah, you are uh, mga call words. Yan. Bawal yan siya. So, major offense. Tabi na ang sleeping. Makita mo sa inyo ang CI. So, na, call na ko na siya. I-avoid ninyo na. No? Mag-sleep mo nga opposite. So, delikado talaga. So, major offense. Kaya ko na siya. Then, sa mahilig ng drawing, yung mga vandalism, No, defacement and tearing of reading materials from the library, breaking of glass windows, showcases, door and cabinets, writing, drawing on the walls. Major offense kaya po ang pagbandal-bandal. No, labi na sa hospital na ito, labi na sa mga chart, no, drawingan ninyo dito sa likod, property sa itong school, property sa ito ang hospital. So, bawal yan siya. So, vandalism. So, avoid natin mag- Drawing, drawing, sulat-sulat. So, kasapan mo, automatic. Meron kayong major offense. So, 
So in so in subordination, you know, so another major offense kanang dilit ang hukuman sa tuang uh, rules and regulations sa tuang CI kay gulo, no? So major offense na siya. Sa pagsuka in subordination na siya. Major offense na siya. Next is cutting duty uh, cutting of duty hours. So dapat uh, kumpleto din na to ang mga duty hours. Tapos so, mo mag uh, mag-out man mo, so dapat magpaalam mo kung may mga emergencies. No? So magpaalam din sa ato ang uh, CI. So kung wala mo nagpaalam, nag-cut lang mo sa uh, duty hours. So major offense din na siya. Okay. Leaving the ward clinical area without permission. Ayun na nga. Every, every lihok sa estudyante dapat magpaalam yun ta. No? Okay, wala ka balo ato ang CI kung asa mo na, na nga abot. No? Labi na sa mga restricted area na abot na din yun ito. No? Tapos ipangita mo sa CI. So major offense na siya. So dapat uh, magpaalam yun always. Then uh, incorrigibility or non-submission of IR within 24 hours to the CI. So, ayun. No? So, dapat mag-submit tayo ng IR natin. Yung sinabi ni Ma'am kanina na four copies. So, within 24 hours lang yan siya. No? So, kung wala pa kayong IR form, so meron naman siguro ang mga CI na mga IR form. Pwede nyo ingin. No? If wala. Pero I think, meron naman siguro sila, Ma'am, no? Mga IR forms. Yan. Teto naman kayo niya. So, submit natin for copies. Okay, so within 24 hours, take note, 24 hours. And next is non-appearance before the Committee of Clinical Conduct or refusal to see the chair of the Committee for Scheduling of Investigation. Ayun, no, non-appearance. So major offense lang yako na siya. Ano may schedule, may nga na, tapos wala mo nag-appear. So problem yako na siya, major offense. Another is relationships. No? So with co-student, public display of affection, such as the following are not accepted. No? Sitting, sleeping on the lap. No? So avoid natin yan guys ha. Hacking, embracing, placing arm around the shoulder. No? Labi na sa ato ang mga student. Or, siyempre, kasay mo, close to sa mong seat, ay i-avoid ya po natin na siya. No? So, di na sa mga CI. Mga yun mo magpa patakataka o da hag-hag. No? Nga lang. Right? Kissing and other uh, lascivious acts. So, ayun. Iwas tayo dyan. So, with patients naman, watcher in hospital, uh, hospital person, as above, ayun na nga. Kasi meron din tayong mga patient na mga kilala natin. No? So, ayun, avoid lang yapo na to na siya na mag-sleep ka sa bed sa tong patient. Sa nakilala na to na siya, no? So, i-avoid niya po na siya. So, dapat nag-up take up no? student and patient. Nakikita na to na sa mga CI. So, bawal niya po na mag-sleep beside the patient. No? So, magtabi-tabi. Which is miss. No? May gala. Then, entering into relationship with the patient. Naka na, medyo nakuko ng problem sa mga students. No? So, natin makita sa mga patient na ito na wapag-wapo. Siyempre, ito, i-control po nyo na ito, ito ang sarili na. So, ayaw pataka o pangayog number. Wala mo kabalo. Kana ang patient na ito, musumbong na siya sa head nurse. So, ngayon, nag-number. So, magka problema na ino ng estudyante. Ngayon, nag-number. So, bawal po na siya. Okay? And dating may married employees ka na. So, dakong bawal yun na siya. Ito na ito nagpato, no? Dating married employees. Kadagandaghan ka kapag yung married. No? So, ayaw. Anong yung bukata sa sunod sa eskwilahan. Or with faculty and clinical instructors. Bawal yan siya. So, major offense. So, ito yung mga sanctions 
for the major offenses so meron tayong oral and written apo uh, written apology to the offended party no then uh, invalidation of ward requirements yun and extension in the clinical area so, meron tayong mga extension diyan extension days depende na kung ilang days ang ipataw sa to ang mga clinical instructor sa inyo ah no kung sa ka sa inyo ang kaso. No? The repetition of the clinical experience in the clinical area where the incident took place. No? So, if sa ER mo, uh, concept, no? magbalik ito dito na area. If ever man, wala ninyo na human. The suspension from clinical ex uh, experience. So, klaro, pwede mo masuspend. Uh, clinical experience ninyo sa studio. So, makamakakuha mo. Commit mo major offense. Demonstration of nursing procedure with the CCC. So, ma'am, ano ulit itong CCC, ma'am? Uh, hindi ko na... Ano po? Committee on Clinical Conduct. Ah, Committee of Clinical Conduct. Ah, yun nga. So, Committee of Clinical Conduct. So, doon kayo mag-demonstrate uh, uh, ng inyong mga nursing procedures sa Committee of Clinical Conduct. So, yung, yung major offense niyo you know? And then, decapping. So, pwede mo mag-decap. Then, research study on the nursing procedure and drug in case. You know? So, kung at yun niya, kamo lang mag-isa. Pag-commit mo more, uh, major offense, guys. So, pwede mo mag-agaan uh, case study. Ito ang uh, committee. Yan yung mga sanctions. Okay, klaro sa so, mga sanctions. Then another is your close supervision in specific clinical area. So kung buliyagun di ka nga estudyante, no? so na amoy close supervision na or kuha na mo, bantayunan na mo no? sa so, ubang uh, CI. So pwede mo ma-endorse sa PICAS na CI. No? ang may close provision sa behaviors ninyo and sa mga actions ninyo during your uh, clinical experience. So, repeating the performance of the procedure, other uh, sanction, then payment of actual damage incurred. No? So, kung naka-damage kayo sa area, for example, yung mga stethoscope dyan, no? tapos yung nasira ninyo is litman pa talaga, no? so, bayaran ninyo yung treatment na status ko. Kasi kayo ang nakadamage. So, dapat careful tayo sa paggamit ng mga uh, property ng hospital. No? Kasi pwede tayo, tayo ang magbayad ng mga nasira ninyo. Then, other measures which may be imposed depending on the gravity of the offense like uh, conference with parents, referral to guidance, counselor, and etc. Exclusion and then placement in character probation. So, yun. Parang close supervision gaya po. No? So, pwede gaya po mong mga i-supervise sa po ang kuwan. So, itong mga CI. Sila po kung okay na ba? Nag-improve ba inyong attitude? Inyong behavior? Actions ninyo? No? So, ayun. So, punta tayo sa minor offenses, guys. So, shouting, giggling, or screaming in the hospital premises. So, bawal na bawal. No? So, dapat tayo mga student, mga nurses, dapat angel ang ato ang kuha sila. Ha? Ang ato ang uh, nagway sa ilang kananaw. So, dapat punta ng tingin, ana. No? So, shouting, giggling. So, bawal yan siya, guys. Ha? Ayo yung taon mo pag one dito. Mura mo nag-party no sa hospital or sa school no dapat kuanjud ta magcontrol ta sa tuang mga kuan sa tuang mga behavior kala na dito after sa school na lang mo magwild no ayo lang dito sa hospital kita na to ang mga nurse yud ta no mga angel sa so, ingana to kita sa tuang mga patient sa mga CI no arrogance minor of uh, minor offense kaya po ng arrogance. So, so, dapat itong kuha na ito mo, na ito angel, dapat dapat dilita arrogant sa tanan na uh, 
uh, labi na sa ito ang mga Spanyol. Sa mga kaubanan, mga student, itarugante, at saka sa mga CI. So minor offense yan siya. So control natin yung mga behavior. Loitering in the hospital on or off duty. No? Mga lagan, kaayo. So bawal na siya labi nagbibananghit. No? Extend sa... Extend sa ilahang break time, tapos naglaglag sa laing station, kaya na dito ang mga classmate, no? or sa mga restricted area, naabot dito. So, minor offense na siya, guys. Then, wearing of clinical uniform in public places, like movie, movie houses, market, bingo hall, at ito maabot mo bingo, entertainment places, and the like. No? So, naman dito yung mga classmate, guys. You know, Mag-invite sa ito. Ah. O sila, wala na ka-uniform. Ikaw, naka-uniform. No? Invite tayo ba? Biglaan. Tapos, eh, wait na ito na siya, guys. No, natin mga bad influence po na mga friends. Na sa laing, laing school, man. No? Sa laing school, no, wala sila kabalo sa uh, ito ang rules and regulation. There is ito ang uh, school na bawa. Oh, lagi mo maglaag, guys. Na naka-uniform. So, minor offense na siya. Sakpan mo sa inyo si I, nga naamo dito, nagtanam mo Spider-Man. No, no way home. Hindi naka-uniform tayo. So, may duty ni Modere. Nag-duty man ka dere. So, yan. Minor offense na siya, guys. Okay? Sleeping or lying on the patient's bed. Conference, loo, uh, conference room sleeping partners while on duty. So, bawal yan siya, guys. Okay? magnap ta tapos naka duty ta 11:7 tapos syempre naka naka kuan ta naka rest ka dito sa lingkuranan niya naka nap ka dito sa patient's bed so minor offense na siya okay so dapat i-ready ninyo guys ang inyong sarili dapat nakatulog mo ana before the duty okay in tendency wala mo nakatulog mong good guys kasi makatulog din mo sa duty po. So, may problema na ito. Okay, so minor offense. Stay in the dark place with the same or opposite sex. So, natay minor offense, Ana, and then depende sa kumbigaton, no? pwede mo major offense kaya po na siya. So, na-discuss na kanina, nagyan po na siya ito ang major offense. Stay in the dark places with the same or opposite sex. So, so natay minor and major, Ana. Offense. Next is listening to or using MP3 player, iPad, iPad, PlayStation portable, playing with cellular uh, cellular phones, laptops while on duty. So if magjuti tana tayo guys, no turn off na lang niyo ang cellphone para di na mga tindal magopen open sa mga cellphone guys kay bawal din na siya. Okay, para di li mo ma-commit uh, uh, minor offense. No? Studying while on duty. So, minor offense ka po ni siya. No? Mag-study. Mag, mag so, dapat mo duty ta. Ready na ta. No? Nga na. Ready na ta. So, no time for study na. Then, extension of meal breaks. So, i-allow mo mag-break for 15 minutes. And then, abot mo og 1 hour. So, ka na. 30 minutes, 45 minutes. So, minor offense pa rin yan, guys. Okay. Any conduct which threatens or endanger the health or safety of any person uh, in the hospital or agency. No? So, karun, may problema tayo sa, no, meron tayong pandemic na nangyari, COVID-19. No? So, dapat always wear tayo ng mga mask natin. No? So, kung para dito makatakod o dito matakdan, kung baga, ingahan na siya. Always wear your PPE. Minor offense kaya po na siya. Okay? So, kung mag-duty mo, wear your PPE. Pandemic man takaroon. So, kung wala may PPE, ako eh. Minor offense.
to sanctions for minor offenses. So warning, no? warning that continuation or repetition may be a cause for a stiffer disciplinary action. So number two, oral reprimand and oral or written apology addressed to the offended party. So no, the school reserves the right not to uh, readmit the students who may be considered undesirable either during or after the semester. So ito yung mga sanctions natin for the minor offenses. Okay, oral reprimand and oral or written apology addressed to the offended party. So for evaluation, so it's done according to the PCIP of each clinical area. And then so number two is upon recommendation of CI concern, the student who received failing or incomplete grade will be required to repeat the experience. No? So, ayan, i-evaluate kayo ng mga CI if kailangan ba kayo mag-repeat or hindi. No? So, meron tayong clinical awards, guys. Punta tayo sa clinical awards. Clinical Excellence Award and other clinical awards. So, let's go with the Clinical Excellence Award. So, Clinical Excellence Award, the candidate must be a fourth year nursing student. You know? So, he must not have committed any major or minor errors. So, yeah. Pwede din mo makareceive of Clinical Excellence Award if wala mo major or minor which uh, necessitated appearance before the committee on clinical conduct or student conduct committee. No? Then the student must be highly recommended by the level coordinators, syempre, clinical instructors, and the head nurses who have supervised him, her, in various clinical settings. No? The students must have an RLE, with an average grade of 88%. Uh, so, dapat taas ang inyong uh, RL, you know, 88%. Or better, with no grade below 84 in any area. So, paningkamutan na to, guys. No? Uh, taas na ito ang uh, grado sa itong RL no? para makakuha ito ng clinical excellence award. So, no below 84% in the area. Then, student must be a recipient of at least three clinical awards. Okay. In other clinical awards, the, uh, the students shall have the WPA of 85% or better with no grade below 82% in any clinical area. So, numbers 1 and 2 and 3, Clinical Excellence Awards shall also apply in choosing the awardees. Ma'am, meron kayo madagdag, ma'am, dito sa, sa slide na ito, ma'am, sa clinical award. Ah, sorry po. <laughs> Nabisi lang. Oh, meron kayo madagdag ng clinical awards? Okay. Sa clinical awards po, um, say po. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Ay, balik po, sir. Other clinical awards? Sige po. Wala na. Yan lang nakalagay. Yes, At the clinical awards, meron tayo most outstanding, no? most outstanding um, student in different, ayan, no? outstanding performance in different areas. So as what sir had mentioned, no, you'll be given an RLE grade towards the last, no, or towards the end of your rotation. So again, you have to make good. Kailangan 
may recommend din kayo ng inyong clinical instructor no before you can receive this certain awards in different areas so when you say community health nursing community health nursing not only during your second years but also during your third year and fourth year medical nursing you'll be exposed to different wards surgical nursing no catering um uh, post op patient or pre op patients yan sila Pediatric, that means you're catering children below 18 years old. OB and gyne, that's obstetric, yung mga buntis, at saka may mga diferensya sa reproductive system. Okay? Ward management, when you reach your fourth year, this is during your uh, practicing clinical instructor na rotation. You'll become one of us. No? And then uh, during also your head nursing, and staffing, you'll be, you will be um, supervised by the uh, San Pedro Hospital staff you know, when having your rotation with staffing. So, ayun na po, you will be catering uh, half of the census. Kung dalawa kayong sudyante na assigned doon, so half ng census, for example, 40 ang census sa floor. Sabihin, 40 patients were admitted in the, in, in the ward. Hatian niya ng partner mo. So you'll be managing those 20 patients. No? Then you also have your uh, geriatric nursing. You'll be exposed to elderlies, mga old age, beyond 60 years old up. Yung sa mga home for the aged, yan sila. No? You'll be exposed to, to that. No? And then school nursing. So school nursing po, you'll be exposed to um, preschoolers. Uh, you'll be exposed to infants, toddlers. Ito yung toddlers na mga 2 to 4 years old. No? Preschool, you have 5 to 6 years old no? na mga bata. And then you will also be exposed to 7 years old down to 12 years old. Uh, ito na yung mga school age. No? And then you'll be also exposed to emergency nursing. So when you say emergency nursing, nasa ER admission department. no, Or also outpatient department. So you'll be exposed to that. So, again, you'll be evaluated sa three, three areas, your knowledge, your skills, and your attitude. So, again, not only in the academics, no, na kailangan meron kayong no grade below 82 ba, sir? 84. Ay, 82 years old. Ay, 82, no? No grade below 82. So most likely, if you will be recommended not only by your clinical instructors, but also the head nurses in the floor. Okay? So kung na-recommend kayo, no? pag na-recommend kayo, you have a higher chance to receive no? outstanding performance na award. Okay? Good luck, guys. Ngayon pa lang, no? Baga nga, sinasabihan ko yung mga studyante ko before, umaga, ito yung pinakaumpisa. No? So you start saving up no? good grades para towards the end, you will, um, tawag nito, iha-harvest nyo na what you have so Diba what, what you have saved. So towards the end, wow, kita ko na yung sadyante ko, nandun, no? on top, na nasa stage. No? Kung mag-face-to-face. -face. Kung virtual naman, kita ko yung picture mo with all those no outstanding performance and all those areas of just ko hindi lang yan ha meron din kayong plaque na may receive nakuha ba ha? recognition syempre you be recognized not only you but also it's it's the recognition of your parents during the duration diba ama so do good ha mga children Gawan nyo talaga ng ano, no? payback time to your parents. Uh, despite uh, online ito, you have to still do good. Alright po? Kwa po? Alright. Sige po, sir. Thank you, ma'am, sa pag-supplement sa akong part. No? So, outstanding performance. So, guys ha, timan ito. Uh, mention ni ma'am regarding sa outstanding performance. So, yun na nga. No? So, outstanding uh, performance in the following areas. Ayan. Ayan ko pa lang psychiatric nursing, intensive care nursing, practicing clinical instructor, OR nursing, DR nursing, and oncology uh, nursing. 
isa-isa yan. Then, outstanding performance in nursing research. So, napatay, napatay ka. Nursing research. And uh, seminar in nursing. Nursing. Uh -huh. So, itong nursing research during the third year, they will have the uh, introduction to research and how to make research. So, I, I uh, alam ko naman, no, binombard na rin yan sila. Gisharpen na rin yan sila during their senior high. They were able to present the the research during the senior high kasi isa din sa prerequisite nila na they cannot graduate without the research no so uh, ngayon in your in your nursing course ating ano no you will still be having your nursing research during your third year you will be introduced again to how to make a research and then come up with the research before you graduate hindi po makagraduate kung wala kayong nursing research all right Sige po. Thank you. Yun nga, nursing research. No? So, punta tayo sa grading system, guys. For your grading system, sa prelims natin, so class standing. So, we have uh, 25%. Galing po yan sa ating quizzes. And then, return demonstration natin, meron tayong knowledge quiz na na 30% and performance 70%. So, kukunan niya ng at 25% for the return demonstration. So, ang total ng ating class standing is 50%. Okay. Then, for the examination natin, guys, meron siyang uh, long exam. No, wait then. So, 50%. Yung ating examination. So, uh, final prelim grade natin. So, class standing, 50%. Then, exam. 50% total of 100%. So, dapat guys, huwag niyo kalimutan na ako yung contribution ni nga to ang pan eh. At ang present is of return demonstration. So, ayan yun ano yun. Pasagdahi. Idako din na siya. For our midterms, ganun pa din, plus standing, we just 25% and return demonstration is 25%. No, knowledge quiz dyan, kukunin yung 30% at 75%. Ah, 70% total 100. Then, i-times natin sa 25%. And yung total na return demonstration natin. So, 50% pa rin yan. Sa examination natin, 50% pa rin for the midterm. So, class standing, 50%. Then, class 50% for your exam. So, yan yung tentative midterm grade natin. So, para makuha natin yung final midterm grade natin, so, kukuha tayo sa midterm natin ng two-third or mga uh, 67% sa yung grade sa midterm, dyan kukunin. And then sa prelim is one-third. So, nandiyan yan sa mga 33% sa yung grade. So, dapat malaki ang, ang kuha ninyo sa prelim. So, isa pa sa mga makapul no, sa yung grade sa midterm. So, dapat galingan ninyo. So, the prelim midterm. Okay. So, for the grading system sa finals natin, so, walang pinagkaiba. So, quizzes, 25%. Return demonstration, 25%. No? So, dyan yung knowledge quiz natin na 30% and performance, 70%. And examination, again, yung exam na is 80%. No? Then practical exam, uh, 20%. Nandiyan yung knowledge quiz natin and yung performance, 70%. Then for the final grade, no? class standing natin, 50% and examination is 50%. So tentative pa lang yan siya. So para makuha natin yung final grade natin, no? two-thirds naman ng ating uh, final grade. Even to 67% sa ang final grade, then midterm na 30%. Kunin na siya. So, dapat malaki din yung ating midterm. Okay, sa practical exam, i-discuss pa ni Ma'am kung saan yung mga practical exam for later na. Sige po. Uh, practical exam. Okay. Yes, so, please take down some notes. This is towards the finals. Alright? So, practical exam actually... Uh, we will be giving out uh, situations no? and that and those situations uh, is based on the procedures that will be um, 
Uh, ito, we'll be discussing for the entire semester. Towards the end, uh, these situations no, will be given as part of your practical exam. And then you'll be asked to perform no, kung ano yung nabunot nyo na, na procedure, yun po yung ipaperform. So, from what we have performed, no, 70%. Knowledge quiz, that will be given situational din po. So, 30%. Alright? Nakuha? Sige. We will discuss that further and in detail towards the finals na po. Okay po? Sige po. Aside doon sa ano yan ha, return demo. So, whatever na natakil natin ng mga procedures towards the end, doon na yan sa practical exam talaga makikita if we have learned no, from what we have discussed from the start until the end. Alright? Sige po. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. So, yun guys ha. Huwag natin kalimutan yung mga return demonstration at na sa tanan sa practical exam. So, big one na time you need perform. Okay. Then, things to prepare for the virtual return demo. So, for the hand washing, guys, yung equipment na dapat ito ang i-prepare. So, na meron dapat tayong liquid or bar soap, towel, no? paper or cloth, no? paper towel or cloth, uh, lotion, no? optional lang po if meron kayong lotion, so mas better. And sink with running water no for kanang nai grip po baga no then trash can then tissue or paper towel so yan yung mga things na dapat na prepare po nato sa so, during sa to ang mga turn demonstration kinaman tay hand washing po guys no so dapat na namo ani okay take note tang guys uh, sulat na lang para ma-prepare na ninyo ni siya yung uh, equipment things so things to prepare for the virtual return demo for the bed making dapat meron tayong bed guys syempre so one bottom sheet no one flat or fitted sheet and one or two pillowcase so, dapat meron tayong two pillowcase. So, mas better meron tayong dalawang pillowcase. Then, one top sheet. Then, one additional pillow. So, mali ito ka. Luha po ka uh, pillow. No, if ever, uh, we do ka, mas better. No? Then, one bat blanket. Optional lang yan po si guys. Para sa ito ang bed making. Sa ito ang return demo. Then, one waterproof under pad. No? So, mapalit lang man siya ang ato ang uh, waterproof underpad. Pero kung wala man tayo underpad na man tayo, buwan siguro na niya, no? other option po sa underpad. No? They, they can okay. have the blue pad, sir. Okay, a, a, a blue pad. May mabili naman yan na blue pad po. Okay, yung blue pad. Or underpad, yes. Makabili kayo okay. mas better. Okay, so blue one underpad. bag. Blue underpad. Okay, take note guys, ha? blue underpad. Dapat meron kayo blue underpad. Ha? Then, one bat towel. Then, working gloves. No? So, dapat na may working gloves. Dili lang isa lang ka-pair. Dua ka-pair para kung mag-easy man or mapuncture man ninyo yung gloves. Siyempre, di ba na ito may wasan. No? So, dapat na pa may extra. Extra na working gloves. Then, improvised equipment. Ano ka, improvised equipment pa? Ayun. So, sa vital signs naman natin, i-prepare niya yung patient. So, dapat meron tayong uh, kasama sa bahay no, para mapagkunan ng mga vital signs natin kasi meron tayong return demo for the vital signs taking. Then, digital thermometer. No? So, digital guys ha. Digital, auxiliary. No? Walang ginabutang sa ilo. No, dili ta tong infrared uh, buwan, na digital thermometer, katong auxiliary lang. Ato ganing ginabaril sa mga security guard, dili tay nga to guys sa so dapat katong auxiliary na type. No, Kaya sa kilikili na digital thermometer. Then stethoscope, 
Siyempre, dapat meron kayong status ko para maka, maka-check tayo ng mga api, apical pulse and for BP, no? blood pressure. So, magagamit natin yung status ko. So, magamit tayong mabibilhan yan, guys. Na, mura lang. No? Andiyan yan sa mga amesco, no? or sa mga ibang uh, medical supply na mga store. Andiyan sa may Kirino. Madami dyan. No? Ayan. If nagtagadabaw kayo, andiyan sa may Kirino. Madaming mga medical uh, supply na mga store dyan. Then BP apparatus, dapat meron tayo manual. Yung pinakita ni ma'am kanina no? na BP apparatus. No? Aneroid ang tawag doon. So dapat meron din tayo niyan. Then jot down notebook. No, yung maliit. Maliit na notebook. No? Then watch with second hand. Dapat merong second hand yung watch natin. Hindi yung digital guys sa watch with second hand. No, para mag-check tayo sa RR, sa uh, respiratory rate ng ating patient, syempre mga heart rate ng ating patient, dapat meron tayong second hand na, na, na watch with second hand. And for the open gloving naman, no, sa return demo natin, dapat meron tayong stair gloves then according to your size. No? Usually sa mga babae naman, sa mga 5-6 siguro ang size, pero kung depende na siya guys ha, So, dapat kabalo na mo sa inyong sizes, sa inyong stereo gloves. No, kaya kuha, kaya naman ko 7.5. No? So, fit yun na sa sakuha. 7.5. Ayan, stereo gloves. Okay, questions dito sa mga things na i-prepare? Wala ba? Please ano copy ba? po. Pakicopy ha. So as early as now, you can already uh, slowly buy no, yung mga kulang. Ha, mga kulang nyo. Pero I think itong sa bed making, yung sa medical hand washing, meron na po kayo niyan sa bahay. Yes. Okay? Yung mga wala, uh, we can still improvise. If you if you wish uh, not to buy the waterproof underpad, kasi masyado nang mabigat for you, then you can have additional towel po. Pwede na ang tawe kung wala. Okay, that will serve as your waterproof underpad. Alright? And then, uh, for your vital signs, idahan-dahan nyo na din po. Yan siya, bili. Okay, for a while, I will show you ano yung jot down note. Agay ko. Let's go. Okay. Okay, ang size... Ang size po ng jot down, ganito lang po. Kaliit. So, maka, ma-insert po yan sa packet. So, ganito siya. No? Huwag ganun ha. Yung nandito sa gilid. Pwede din yung may spring dito on top. If you wish to. Pwede. Alright. Sige po. Meron pa ba, Sir Aaron? Ang next mo yung oral medication. Sorry. Po. Yes. Yun yung jot down na ha. Parang kalaki lang ng palm ninyo. Yung jot down notebook. Ay, wala na siya, ma'am. Sa oral, ma'am. So, sa oral medication, ay, wala na yun yung sula. Sige, dungan na lang. So, sa oral medication, isa na ba yan? Medication. Yes. So, oral medication, then you have to have your, um, you have to have your medicine, medicine cup. I think, mura lang yan, no? You can buy that sa Amesco. And then, um, pwede nyo yung medicine glass. And then, uh, 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 ano pa ba? I-print lang natin yung ano. I-print lang natin yung medication ticket. Medication booklet. Yan po. And then, uh, sige lang, we will, we will require you to have, like for example, if you're taking in your vitamins, naka-individually wrap siya, naka-foil wrap siya. Yun, no? Or you can buy uh, nips or yung, ano yun, smiggle? Smiggle ba to? Ha? Ah, what? Sa to? Skittles. Basta kan- ah, skittles. Yes. Sorry, skittles. Yung skittles, pwede yun, no? That will serve as your, ano. Then you also have to have your nips, or NIPS. Then you also have your, your um, medicine, um, 
tawag nito? Uh, um, dropper. Dropper. No, dropper. Medicine dropper. And then, um, uh, ang tawag nito? Yung... Wala ba sumang? Wala ba Or wala? Okay na sumang. Magkang ako. Okay. Cut tissue paper. Audible na ba? Okay. Cut tissue paper. Um... Yun lang man ata. No? Ay, syringe pala. Without needle. 3cc syringe without needle. Okay. You will know the purpose of that, no? Uh, when we we'll have our uh, return demonstration on this different um, med medications. Okay? And then, please buy yung ano, uh, Meron kayo sa bahay po na syrups sa bahay like uh, paracetamol. Kahit na yung maliit lang na 30 ml na paracetamol ko meron po. No? Yan siya. Kung meron kayo mga medicine, medication, bottles. Uh, pwede nyo yan magamit. That will be. Empty, mama. Pwede din empty, uh, pwede din empty, pwede din yung may laman. Okay, start securing one kung wala. Okay, kung wala. Then, kung meron, yun na yun. Okay na yun. That will be fine. As we go along, ah, mag magbigay lang kami sa inyo ng mga improvised po on what to do during the medical, uh, during the oral medication na part. Alright? So, are there questions or clarifications? Questions po? Clarifications? Questions? Yes, Miss Vigada. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Yes po. Ma'am, ano po yung mukha ng medicine dropper? Yung parang sa tiki-tiki, ma'am? Yung nasa top <laughs> ng tiki-tiki? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Opo, yan po. Ah, okay. Thank you po. Opo. Sige po. Meron pa ba? May questions pa po? Please raise your hand. Don't feel ano. Uh, wag po mahiya. Magtanong na po habang andyan pa. May question pa ba? Mas maganda yung mag-question na ngayon kaysa yung ano. Mag-raise down ng hand. Who is that? Miss Gabal. Si Ako po, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, yung sa uniform po kanina, yung decent pants, ma'am, any color lang po yun, ma'am? Or oh, white yes, din po? Ah, ito. Let me just emphasize, no? Every day when you, when you uh, enter the Zoom, for those who have long hair, you have to tie it sa likod and make a bun. Okay? You will always check on that. Yung mga bangs, tanggalin kung hindi man naka, ano, naka, tawag nito, naka, uh, nakaka, ano, ng visual nyo, no, tanggalin. And then, no jewelry, as I have said, except for a watch. And then, uh, for gentlemen, pwede naman po kayo magpa-haircut na, wala na pong bawal, di ba po? So, two by three. For the ladies, you have to wear light makeup, light lipstick. Yes, you may do that. With regards to your uniform, you can wear any white t-shirt with pants. Any pants will do. Okay? Any pants will do. Kung jogging pants yan, okay lang po. Alright po. Kuha po. Okay. Nakalimutan ko rin po, I usually have uh, a three minutes na... Exercise. Stretching lang po before we'll start the 
a class. Okay? So, bukas, we expect you that you will already tie your hair, you wear your white t-shirt or white blouse, no? Bukas. Uh, for the girls and for the boys. Nakuha po. Okay. So, kung yung na-discuss natin ngayon at hindi na-apply bukas, ha, you call your attention and you will request for yun na yun. Alam nyo na yung mga sanction. So, ang sanction dyan, reading, pangatlong araw, that will mean, no, one day extension. So, please, matang na loob. Okay ba? Uh, what else? <clears throat> You always have to come in with your name, the Zoom, 1C underscore family name, first name. Nakuha. Para for, for us to easily check on you. Kasi ako from time to time, I usually check the participants. Mapansin ko po yan. Nagilista po ako kung sino yung nawawala. No? Nawawala. Uy, nawala si ano, left. Oy, bumalik. Oy, bakit nawala? Si ganito, ganyan. All right. Sige, I will always call your attention. Yes, Miss Vegada, you were raising your hand. Ay, ma'am. When it comes po sa tardiness sa online, during online classes po, mm. same lang po yung sa... Yes, ma'am. Same lang po yung sa duty na rules po or iba po yung dito. The same po, ma'am. Ang oras lang ang diferensya. So, kung ang oras natin is 7.30, 7.30. So, 7.30 to 7.45, that's already considered late. Tama? Okay po. Alright. So, 7.31, maglampas na to 7.45 late. Kung 8 o'clock to 8.30, that is considered already what? Absent. Late absent. Okay? Pag uh, 8.30 onwards, present absent. That's one day ex one day absent na for this extension. Claro po. We will still accept you. Okay. Now, with regards to... <clears throat> kaya nga maaga kayo dapat magbukas ng internet nyo, no? Kung 7.30 ang call time, 7 o'clock, you open your internet or your laptops, or your iPads, or your cell phones already. So you are already um, oriented as to have the double gadget. So pag walang, walang internet connection, then you can use data. Please inform us through GC. Or you can PM me, you can PM Sir Aaron, or you can PM Ma'am Vergara. Ma'am, wala pong, no? wala pong, Tawag nito, wala po ako internet connection. I'm on, on my data po. Maintindihan po namin yun. Okay, basta you have to inform us ahead of time. Klaro. Ma'am, brown out. Oh, my gadget ka man. Di ba? May cellphone ka pa. Inform us, ma'am, brown out po dito. So, again, pag nag-brown out, inform us. Give us, give us, uh, tawag nito, uh, evidences that na meron talagang brownout dyan. Ano ang mga evidences na pwedeng ibigay? Example, announcement from your power no provider na oy, na ay power interruption during this day. So you can send us to, send us, you can send us, us that, no, yung, yung announcement. What else? Mag-video, sus Diyos ko, mag-video, on, off, on, off, wala daw. Ma'am, you can always record those, no, ahead of time kung wala. So, better, mas evident, or mas acceptable yung talagang announcement. Claro po. Claro. Okay. Alright. Mas claro na yan. Okay. Yes, Miss Ubigada, may question? You were raising your hand a while ago? Wala na. All right. Other questions or clarification? Medicine ticket and medicine booklet. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. So, my questions pa ba? Wala na? Okay. Sige po. Please do copy kung anong meron dyan. 
Okay? So, ngaya, kaya nga ahead of time, we are already giving you this para po maka-prepare na. Hindi din ma-overwhelm si mama at i-request nyo yan sa kanya on the day ng RD. So, again, wala na pong reason. Ma'am, wala ako niyan. You were already given those, no? At, uh, sa ngayon pa lang. So, there's no way na wala kayo nakapitir. Nakuha po. Alright. <clears throat> Sige. So, again, thank you, sir. Mag-share din ako sa grouping. Thank you po. Tapos yun na kopya. Alright. Can I share? I, sir, can you make me the host again? Thank you po, Sir Aaron. <laughs> Nawala mo, good sir. Thank you po. For a while po. Sandali ha, I view. View mo na. Alright, so there, there are there are topics posted sa paper po. Okay? Nakapost na po ako. It's up to you to view it. Okay? Expect po every day is a quiz day. So platform for quizzes could either be through sorry po, quizzes will be given either through paper or through Google Forms. Kuha po. Okay. Dati po, 30 minutes binibigay sa inyo. Sa akin po, when you'll take the quiz, I will just give you 5 to 10 minutes. Alright? Okay. So, to prevent you from no opening a lot of, um, you know, of, ang tawag nito? No, ang dami niyong binubuksan sa screen. No, ang dami Google, mga kung ano-ano. Alright? To refrain you from cheating. Na klaro ba? Alright. So, pag sinabi, pag sinabi pong five minutes, I would automatically close that five minutes. I will not anymore accept any excuses. Pero na lang, ma'am, nag-brown out talaga, nawala ko. Send me. Alright. Kuha. So, wag po ma-offend. Nagsasabi na po ako ahead of time. Na klaro po. Am I clear, guys? Claro. Alright. So, all the topics for this week, wala, hindi pa pala. Not all. Hanggang approaches to patient's care, wala pa. Body mechanics, it will be posted later down to medical assessments. Alright? So, yan po ang ipopost ko ngayong, ngayong araw. Some of the topics were already posted po. So, please read on them. Try to take note of them because quizzes will be given every day. Okay? I will also be posting sa GC with regards to um, the abbreviations, medically accepted abbreviations. Okay? That will still be part of your quiz. Ba? Portion lang. A portion of it will be posted. So, na na sa inyo. Okay? To copy. Not all of the posted um, topics na naka-download ang file. Hindi po lahat. Okay? There are certain topics that you have to read, but it will not be discussed during the uh, Zoom meeting. So, kailangan po magbasa. Kuha po. Okay. Kung may mga katanungan prior, then we will open no, we will have the open forum. We have questions with regards to the topics posted sa paper. You have to no, ask questions before we'll give out the quiz. Claro po. Claro? All right. Say again. So the topics for this week, okay, we're done with the orientation on clinical conduct and policies of nurse of the nursing department. Tomorrow we will be discussing points of becoming a nurse. Okay? Nandoon na yan. Nandoon na yan sa paper. Roles of a nurse. Maintaining a good personal hygiene and appearance. 
modes of communication, therapeutic communication techniques. Okay, how to answer the phone, a, a client's call, how to answer the telephone, points to consider when, when answering or when using the telephone. Okay? Nakuha po. Alright. And of course, tomorrow, tomorrow's last topic would be approaches to patient care. So how to admit a patient, how to transfer a patient, and how to discharge a patient. Claro po. Claro. Okay. So, every Monday, mag sabi si ma'am kung ano mga topics within the week. And that is supplemented sa paper po. Nakapost na yan doon. On Wednesday, these are the topics. Body mechanics, housekeeping. Ipopost ko lang ito ha sa paper. Housekeeping, kailangan natin alamin, no? How to keep the environment clean when you're dealing with your patient. Because according to Florence, mana ba mo DFN? Ah, di ba? Environmental theory. Kailangan malinis, kaya nga kasali ang housekeeping. All right. Next. And the last topic for the week would be medical, principle of medical asepsis. And that's the first return demonstration or demonstration of medical hand washing. So that will be demonstrated this coming Wednesday. Naghang ako? Naghang ba? Wala po, ma'am. Naghang kayo sa akin kasi. Well, anyway. Okay, that will be demonstrated this coming Wednesday. And then, you have to return demonstrate ito as next week. Okay? How do we go through with my Aston, bigay ka po ng syllabus. Yes, I will be posting the syllabus po sa GC na. Alright? So, no worries. Akala ko kasi, Miss Neira, hindi ba nagbigay ang um, coordinator ng syllabus po sa presidents? Wala po. Wala. Alright. Sige po. I'll be posting that sa GC po. Remind mo ako, Miss Nera, ha? Dami ko nang ipopost. But anyway. Alright, so... Okay, so you will be having a one-on-one -on -one online return demonstration. Okay? Naintindihan? Hello? So narinig niyo na siguro yan sa inyong mga uh, older brothers and sisters sa, uh, sa nursing department, no? Sa mga second year, higher years, no? Alam niyo na siguro paano ito gawin. Alright? One-on-one -on -one po. For example, Miss Bigada, I call Miss Bigada sa Zoom. You will be you will be assigned to different CIs, no? So later I'll present as to the groupings. Okay? Tapos, nandiyan na kayo sa Zoom ni Ma'am. Okay? Ang pwede lang pumasok sa Zoom muna and the rest of the group is si Ms. Vigada muna. The rest of the group will be placed sa waiting room. Okay? So, mag-present niyo si Ms. Vigada. I-position niyo yung camera niya na makita ang kanyang, itch, uh, kanyang sarili malapit sa zinc. Sa sink. Sorry. Sa sink. So, doon na siya, no? Habang nagasalita, nagaperform, And you will be graded. Claro. So, Yan siya. Okay, pagkatapos ni Ms. Vigada, I will call in Mr. Kagape, kanwari. So, balik ko naman si Ms. Vigada sa waiting room. Si Mr. Kagape na naman ang perform. Alright? So, you will be given, you will be given a time limit to perform. So, for example, hand washing, that will just, I will just give you around 5 to 8 minutes to perform everything. Madali lang sana ang hand washing, ma'am. Promise. No? If you can get a grade, perfect grade na 100, I will give you, no? Perfect score of 100. Okay? So, ang grading system po ng hand washing, you'll have 5 at the highest score. Kasi yung, yung 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, meron po yan siyang uh, equivalent percentage. Okay, so for example, you have garnered 
4.4 and that will that will give you more or less 94.4 percent i'll get 70 percent from that and the knowledge quiz will be given to you for example naka 80 ka sa knowledge quiz will get 30 percent from that so 30 percent of 80 is 24 ba? 94.4 times 7, that will give you more or less no, na sa mga 60 plus. Kunwari, 64 plus 24, that will give you a grade of 88 no, for the entire procedure. Nakuha, not bad. Pero kung naka-perfect ka, straight ka 5, 100. You get 70%, 70 ka automatic. Perfect long quiz. No? You get 30% of the 100, that's 30. 30 plus 70, 100. My God. Hardy na yun. Nakuha. Gets nyo po? Alright. No? Practice lang po. Madali lang. If you have listened, no? And you have stated, kasi you have to state the step. First step, then you give the reason why you have to do that. Perform. State the state the next step. Perform. Then you state the reason for that. So yung reason behind the step is what we call rationale. Or others would state it rational. Nakasabot. Alright. Sige lang. Wag pong mag -alala. You will be guided Ma'am, what time po kayo for the main tatlo? Alright? Excuse me po, ma'am. May I ask if magbigay ako oh, na? Nasagot ko na po yan. Alright. Meron pa pong mga katang katanungan? Wala na? Okay. Let me present your groupings po for a while. Okay. Sorry po. Please take note. So, kaya ako nakalagay dyan na, sorry po, view, 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 view. Okay. So, you have group one. Under group one, you have Alejado, Bitye, Kagape, Donaire, Gantuanco, Hukom, Lazaro, Quines, Somalino, Villanueva, Yumang. Okay. Group 2, you have Ang, Borromeo Calios, Dumalag, Gelbolingo, Lab Labastida, Man Manligoy, Neira, Remorosa, Tabay, Wong. Group 3, Ariate, Cabalquinto, Dakel, Edi, Gumban, La Cuesta, Mejos, Pagaran, Rosel, Vigada, Ya. Okay? Since po, my group 4 akong inilagay, but actually you belong to group 1 pa rin. The following. Bakit po kayo isineparate? Kasi po, pag meron po akong reliever na isa, may reliever po ako na isa, ibig sabihin, 1C I will come in, no, during the return demonstration, this group 4 is created. Nakuha. Okay. But this group 4 Tulad nito, bag, kung tatlo lang kami, eto si Ms. Baguio, Estelioso, Modesto, Vidoy, belong kayo sa group 1. Okay? Pag nag-apat lang ako na CI, kaya ako nag ng group 4. Klaro po. Okay. Uh, eto si Kakananta, Lhao, Plaza, and yung Yongke, belong kayo sa group 2. But, pag na isa akong CI, mabilong kayo sa group 4. Group 3, the La Cruz, La Manila, sa, sa Seda, belong kay sa group 3. Pero pag may apat na ako na si ay mabilong kay sa group 4. Klaro po? Klaro. Okay, may I ask, sino po ang pwede maging group leader for group 1? Hello po. Sige na, sino pwede ay group? Ako na lang magpili. 
May I? Hello po, ma'am. Mag-volunteer yes, po ako, ma'am. Oh, wow, Mr. Kagape. I like that. Mr. Kagape, thank you very much. All right. Group 2 po. Anybody from group 2? Huwag niyo nang bigyan ng responsibility si Nera kasi mabigat na as president, mabigat na po for her. Anybody? Ah, okay, Mr. Yes, Miss Group. Wow, Labastida. Thank you, Mr. Labastida. I love you, sir. All right. <laughs> okay, Group 3, meron? Ako, ma'am. Ah, uh, sino? Oh, Miss Miss Vegada. Thank you, Miss Vegada. Love you, ga. Para mag-UM. <laughs> okay. Now, the responsibility of um, the group leaders. Okay na po tayo? Sige po. The responsibility of a group leader is, or are, ito, ah, mga ma'am and sir. Ang responsibility niyo po, there are um, return demonstration procedures that need not to be performed online. Ibig sabihin one-on-one -on -one or face-to-face -face online. So, bana, one-on-one -on -one online. Hindi, lahat. Okay? So, you are the ones who are going to collect no, from your group members. I-post ko lang din yon sa GC po from your group members and have it in a folder. Waha ba? Hello, mga ma'am and sir. Okay. So, i-collect nyo lahat yung kanilang ginawang video and then submit it sa email addresses. Later, ipopost namin kay Sir, Aaron, Aten, tsaka kay Ma'am Monica. Alright? So, ang mainstay lang talaga dito sa grupo na ito is ako at tsaka si Sir Aaron. Si Ma'am Monica will be leaving us after the first, uh, until February ka lang, Madam, no? <laughs> Hanggang medical handwashing na yan si Madam. Yes, so. After po ng prelim exam, another clinical instructor will be with us. Okay? Okay ba? So, sulitin natin habang andito si Monica. Okay po? Sige po. So, again, bakit ko na iyak? So, hindi, Mag-around robin tayo ha. Ibig sabihin, group 1, uh, for the first, first ninyo na RD, uh, mag-ano tayo, mag-ano kayo sa group 1. For example, example, kay Ma'am Monica kayo na assign. Ng group 2 sa akin, ng group, two, ang group 3 kay Sir Aaron. Sa next na RD, okay, ang handle ni Ma'am Monica is group 2 na. Ang handle ko, group 3, si Sir Aaron na ang mag-group 1. So, mag-round robin kayo sa amin. Nakuha ba? So that we would know at makilala namin kayo ng mabuti. Naintindihan? Hindi lang kay sa isang grupo lang kami magsistay. No po. So, kanya-kanya. No? Ah, ma, 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 Mag-take turn ang lahat ng CI to handle me. Nakuha po. Alright. Are there questions or clarifications? Kapit na 11.30, mga ma'am and sir. Si question po? Ay, nako. Alright, wala na ipangutan na ha. So, may kanya-kanyang kanya style ha. So, please refrain from comparing one CI to the other. Kasi hindi ho, kayo, hindi ho kami pare-pareha. Tayo po is unique from each other. Nakuha po. So, may kanya-kanyang style. Kuha po. Okay. Sige po. Feel free to ask questions. Ah. Since, um, eto pa. Um, before I forget. This goes to the, the, to all the clinical instructors na who will be handling you sa funda RLE. Uh, yes. We would entertain questions until 8 p.m. po. That's Monday to Monday to Wednesday. Okay? Kung may tanong po kayo, please, no? Ma'am, this is Mr. Kagape of BSN1C. Kasi hindi lang po kayo ang handle namin. Marami po. No? Hindi, lang, hindi lang po from 
this level, meron din kaming hinawak ang second year, third year, fourth year. Alright? Para hindi po kami malito, please introduce yourselves. Okay? May mga queries kayo. Ma'am, good evening po. This is Mr. Kagape of 1C. I would like to ask, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Ako yung tipong minsan na ako nagre-reply ng PM, but I usually call you. Gatawag ako sa inyo. And that has been experienced by some of you, no? Oh, ha? Okay. Another. Um, uh, one minute more. I two minutes more. Please, uh, kung meron na po kayong SRF, SRF, please no, submit your copy to your respective leaders. Hindi pa po ako mag-collect ngayon, but if you do have it, submit it na sa inyong respective leaders. Kasi pag nakompleto na yan, they can always send that to me. Nakuha. Alright. So, alam ko, hindi pa, no? Kasi nag encode pa yung, yung sa school. Kaya hindi pa na ibibigay sa inyong SRF. Pero please, follow it up. Okay? Para meron na kayong SRF. Hindi ko pa sinisingil, but, no? Try to follow it up. Alright? SRF. Do not forget. Alright. So, wala na wala nang tanong. Wala na pong mga tanong, mga moms and sirs. We will start the official class tomorrow po. Alright? <laughs> okay, again, once again, welcome po sa BS, BSN, so Fundamentals in Nursing, NCM 203 RNT. We we'll hope to see you tomorrow. Alright? So yeah, let's end this with a prayer. Can you, can you lead us in prayer, personal prayer po? Uh, nandito, sorry ha, Miss How, nandito ka kasi nasa pinakauna ka na ro. Can you lead us in prayer, a closing prayer? Thank you po. Okay, so let's pray for the Catholics and everyone else, please do what you have to do. So, let's pray. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you na nakapag-orientation kami today and we got to get a grasp of what the subject is about. And Lord, please help us din sa mga following um sessions namin na makalearn kami and ma-memorize uh, namin lahat na makailangan namin. And please, that's the food that we're about to eat. And please heal din yung mga may sakit ngayon. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. In Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Please do not forget to join no, the class sa Clipper po. Kasi ang nakaregister dito sa akin, less than 44. Okay? Para mabasa niyo na kung anong dapat niyo basahin sa paper. See you guys tomorrow. Bye po. Bye po, ma'am. Bye po. Bye Thank po, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Thank you po. Sige po. Bye-bye po. Bye.